Hey guys, welcome to Hey Man Fishing. Show you what I'm looking at right here, and you'll know what we're gonna be doing. I got crappy hanging down there on 22 feet. That brush pile was coming up about 16 foot, and it's very late in October. Getting ready to hit that big cool, cool down in November, hopefully. Them shad be moving in the back of the creek, so will the crappy. But right now, I'm out on the channel, and we're going to get us some crappy. So stay tuned. Going down, 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 down. Come on. Hit the old Bobby Garland for me. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, that's what we want right there. Feel like a good one. Yeah. yeah, he would be a keeper. Little pink head. And that blue eyes. Ooh. Okay. And a brush pile out here off the edge of a underwater island and 24 foot of water and um, of course uh temperatures water temperature 68 degrees and i'm using a kind of a clear color bobby garland and i put all that in the description i'm using a half ounce um slip weight Oh, oh yeah yeah he come up and grab that feel like about the same size there we go oh yeah he come up and grab it that might be a little bit smaller than that other one. I think it is but there you go now I know y'all wondering why ain't I keeping these things well, it's because I already got them. I already got some. I already got some in my freezer. Oh, there's one right there going over there to it. And like I say, I got a loop knot on there. That gives it a little bit more play. I got a video out <clears throat> showing the polymer knot and uh, the loop knot, how to tie it. So be check that out going to be a very beautiful day uh, it's bringing out all the boaters and skiers late October actually the last week in October I'm going to show you guys I'm going to take this little I got a quarter ounce weight right here and I'm putting it on this line if you take that slip that slip weight here and once you get through that just go back through that hole about three times you see now i got this thing up here at the top i'm gonna leave enough room so i i can tie my uh loop knot i'm gonna do this again it's about the third time in all right, now that's going to hold that up there. Now I'm going to take this Bobby Garland. And I'm using a 3 sixteenths jig head, pink. So if you go through that eye, go through your eye. All right. All right, you pull enough down here to make a, like a loop. See where I got the, got the eye? I got my, I got this thing pulled through that eye about five inches, maybe six. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take my thumb and hold it. I mean, my index finger, hold it. I'm gonna go through, make me a loop. And I'm gonna go through that loop three times. And one more time, I'm gonna go through that loop. Now, when you get to this point, that eye 
where you tie on the eye with that hook Just grab it and you're gonna you're gonna hold the other part and you're gonna pull down let me grab that thing some more you're gonna pull it all the way down and you're gonna put take it out anyway now I'm gonna cut that off. I got me a loop knot in here. I need to put me some glue on that head like I showed y'all earlier. In, around. Put me some super glue right in there. Push it up on there. And there you are. All right, I got my loop knot retied. I'm gonna throw down on this crappy right out here in front of me. And we just waiting on one of them to grab it. And keep in mind, if you got fish hitting here, if you got other brush piles in the same depth, more than likely they hitting all over everywhere else. Same principle goes for bass fishing. And if you catch them in 20 foot, you're usually gonna catch them in 20 foot all over the lake. It was having fun on the lake. Can't blame them. Being on the Saturday, I'd have my family out here too. They had a big ski boat. Going straight down there to them. Get on down there, Bobby. Come down there. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's coming up. Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you. There you go. Better be a keeper. Oh yeah. Here he comes. He's a tiny thing. Yeah. There's gonna be some bigger ones down. That's too little there. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one there. Feels a lot better. Yeah, well, crowd hooked him. Crowd, <laughs> oh, now I got him. Caught a foul hook. He took it. Well, I gotta see he's gonna hit that. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I got on here. Don't want to lose him. Screw the bass out there. This is uh this is going to be a spot. Just like the other place. They scoot up and they're moving around. Let's see if I can bring him up without breaking my line. There he is right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's scoot him. So these spots right here, stationed the bait fish. Oh, there they are, right there. Right in front of me, 45 feet. Oh, I'm going down there to him. There he is, oh, come on, hit it. <laughs> look at there, look at there. What I tell you, we're gonna have us some fun. Ooh, come on, buddy. Old spot, I got him foul hit. Got him foul hooked. I'll take him like that. Yeah. All right, we then got into some more, some more fish here, some more spots. They scoot up out there chasing bait fish, but hey, let's just go after them. These ain't no size. 
but uh, hey, fun catching. Yeah, uh, uh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Old Spot got up here and grabbed it. Dang, we don't went from bass fi uh, crappy fishing to bass fishing. I can't help it, boy. I see a school of them down there. It's a lot of fun. There we go. Isn't that fun? I say it is. All right. Uh -huh. All right, we're working a point now. I do think that's crappy. Yeah. That's what they are. I got one here. I got one. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll say it's a crappy, but I don't know where it's pulling. It's like a bass. Crappy. It's going to be the big one. Nice no, bass. Little, little uh, spot bass. Well, that fooled me. But that fooled me there. I thought it was a big old crappy. But well, guys and gals, thank you for staying tuned to Hey Man Fishing. We caught us some crappies. We caught us some bass. We had a good time this evening. Uh, couldn't help myself on some of those uh, schools of uh, spots running across in front of my scope. So yeah, I had I had to get that cashing spoon to throw out there on them. But I had a good time. Um, this is like the last part of October, and I'm hoping we're gonna get a cold spell to move in here, especially in November, cool, down, cool things down. Water temperature's like 69 degrees, and you know, water temperature gets in the mid 60s and under, we start having these uh, fish moving back in the back of these creeks, in my opinion, they chasing the bait fish, and that's where the bait fish is gonna go when it gets cool. Um, hope you pick up a few things here. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button up there. I really would appreciate it. And I want to thank all of you that already have subscribed and watched the channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I know I mentioned in uh, other episodes that I'm going to make a trip up to uh, Cherokee, and I, I still plan on doing that uh, for years in. I'm just trying to give those folks up there a chance to th get things squared away on the... Uh, uh, trout fishing you know their hatchery got uh hit pretty hard with the flood in the in the mountains of north carolina so i'm just trying to give them a little bit of time to you know get things right on that and um again thank you for watching i want to tell y'all god bless all of you and have a great great week see you later